Hey everybody, Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. Now this is one of the questions that I get from our current members. They ask why I can't lose any weight when their nutrition is on point. Now when it comes to losing weight, the simplest solution is calories in, calories out. Now there's gonna be times of the month, there's gonna be times in your life where it's gonna fluctuate. Stress does play a, a factor on how much water you're retaining and how much fat you're able to lose because yes, cortisol does play a factor in it. But today I wanna to just simplify it for you so that we can just have a nice clear path and make it easy for you to determine why it is that you are gaining weight. Now, if you want to see more weight loss without actually being more active, then you have to cut more calories, it's that simple. That's the simplest way to lose weight. So if you just did a workout, we just did a workout at the gym and I had a girl show me her heart rate monitor. And I know she worked her butt off today because of the fact that I was right there with her and I pushed her. At the end of the workout, she was like sweating, she was gassed, I looked at her, her calorie burn and she burned 200 calories. And I said, now for the next month, every single workout that you do here at Fit Club, and she's fairly new, needs to be 200 calories or more, otherwise you can't go home. <laughs> you gotta sit there and you gotta do some extras until you hit that 200 calories, which is very tough to do. And so if you don't wanna try and outwork the calories, then my suggestion to you is to cut your calories by 200 or 300 or whatever your goal is. Now, the thing about cutting calories and monitoring calories is that unless you're actually taking things and weighing them and then entering them into your food tracker, you're probably off. And 90% of the people that try and eyeball their food, they're usually off by anywhere from 25 to 50 calories, depending on what it is. Now, if you think about it, if you had five items that you just eyeballed and you went 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, that's 250 calories that you couldn't account for. And so you might not see massive amounts of weight gain because 250 calories isn't a ton, but 250 calories every week for the next 52 weeks, that's going to add more weight to your body. It's just gonna all add up, but it's gonna add up slowly. So if you wanna see one pound loss, you have to be in a 3,500 caloric deficit, which is about 500 caloric deficit on the day. And doing massive amounts of belly burns most people aren't super active through the day. The people that are really active, they don't have trouble losing weight. They have trouble maintaining their weight or gaining muscle. They're already super active. They just have it instilled in their brain that they constantly move. One of our biggest weight loss clients, uh, Amanda Pottery, who lost over 200 pounds, like she, the other day, hit 50,000 steps plus she did workouts. I mean, now she's just in this constant weight loss mode. Now, most people, they're not moving as much as the 50,000 steps in the day. And so for them to, to get active more is tough, right? And so your caloric allowance, being somebody that maybe goes to the gym once, you know, five days a week, where you're burning about 200 calories, you might not have a lot of muscle because your job and your lifestyle doesn't need it. And also you do a lot of sitting. I would think that you're probably eating too many calories and that you don't actually need that much. I think the, the calories that you are needing or are wanting are more out of habits or more out of boredom, right? Like we're used to just eating a breakfast, like 9 a.m. And the thing that we have to understand about breakfast is that the term means breaking the fast. So traditional breakfast is in the morning, but you can eat a big meal at you know 3 a.m. because you went to the bar and then you get up at nine in the morning, do you still need to eat even though you just ate? No, right? So once those calories are burnt off and you've actually burned them off through exercise, then you can throw back more calories, but you don't necessarily always have to eat at the exact same time every day, especially if you ate later in the day or you ate more calories than you were allowed the day before. And so what do we need to do, okay? So here's the simplest solution. Number one, is to increase your workouts. Me personally, I would out, rather outwork a bad diet, okay? So immediately you're burning more calories. Number two is that you need to monitor your active calorie burn and see if you can actually burn more. My recommendation for you, which it's tough for a lot of people, but I personally aim for a thousand active and that's a very big day for me. So for you, it might be 500 active. If you do a lot of sitting, you do one workout a day maybe, you might have to get moving more, you might have to get that heart rate up higher 
throughout the, the day, not just your workout, so that you can get that 500 to 750 active calories. And then the last but not least is be consistent with your strength training because muscle requires more calories. So then when you add more muscle to your body, the body demands more calories to keep the muscle fed. But here's my tip to you is that just because you added more muscle, just because you increase your active calorie burn, and just because you're increasing the amount of workouts that you're doing, we wanna stay in and around the same calories that when you started as to where you are now. And do this for a minimum of 90 days. And if you can do this in a minimum of 90 days of being consistent where, let's say it's like 1500 calories, but now you're actually burning 2000 calories. Well, now we're in that 500 caloric deficit. In 90 days, you can see anywhere from eight to 12 pounds of weight loss. And all it requires is to simply increase your workouts, monitor your active calories, or you're building more muscle at the same time. So be consistent in those three things. Make sure that you're tracking your food, keep yourself in a caloric deficit, and think to yourself, am I hungry because I'm bored, or it's out of habit, or did I actually earn the food that I'm about to eat? So guys, I hope that was a simplified version. Hope it opened you up a little bit to your mindset as to how calories are used in your body. Look at food as fuel, not as a passion or something that you like. You fantasize about, enjoy your food. This way we can focus on what your goal is and we wanna get you there step by step. So I'm Coach RJ, www.fitclub.fit. If you're interested in coming in and learning a little bit more about nutrition, being held accountable for the first 28 days of your 90, then mention the belly burn and we'll get you started today.